determined to believe, the sovereignty of God, freedom, faith, and human responsibility, by John C. Lennox is a thought-provoking exploration of one of the most enduring theological dilemmas in Christian thought, the compatibility of God's sovereignty in human free will. Lennox, a renowned mathematician and philosopher, brings a unique perspective to this age-old debate, offering a nuanced and compelling argument that challenges traditional viewpoints. Lennox opens his book by acknowledging the tension that has existed for centuries between God's sovereignty and human free will. He points out that this dilemma has often led to polarized theological positions, resulting in divisive debates within Christianity. Lennox, however, proposes that this tension is not necessarily a problem to be resolved but a mystery to be embraced. He encourages readers to approach the topic with humility and a willingness to engage in honest dialogue. The author's central thesis is that it is possible to reconcile God's sovereignty with human free will, and he does so by skillfully navigating through a complex web of theological and philosophical concepts. He first establishes that God is indeed sovereign, emphasizing that the Bible consistently portrays God as the ultimate ruler of the universe. This sovereignty is not in conflict with human free will, Lennox argues, but rather complements it. He draws on various biblical passages to support his contention that God can be sovereign while still allowing humans to make genuine choices. Lennox makes a critical distinction between two types of necessity, logical necessity and causal necessity. Logical necessity refers to things that must happen based on logical principles, while causal necessity relates to events that are determined by causal factors. The author argues that God's sovereignty is characterized by logical necessity, where God's plan is consistent with His character, and it is not coerced or predetermined in a way that negates human free will. Lennox's nuanced understanding of necessity enables him to argue that God can both predetermine certain events and respect human free will. The author delves into the concept of freedom, emphasizing that genuine freedom is not the absence of constraints but the ability to act in accordance with one's desires and character. He argues that God's sovereignty does not negate human freedom but rather works in harmony with it. Lennox's articulation of freedom as the ability to act in accordance with one's character aligns with the idea that God respects the choices of individuals while ultimately fulfilling his sovereign plan. Lennox addresses the issue of faith in his book, underscoring the idea that faith is a voluntary act of the will. He contends that faith is not imposed by God but is a response to God's revelation. In this context, faith is a genuine exercise of human free will, and it does not diminish God's sovereignty. By emphasizing the voluntary nature of faith, Lennox further establishes the compatibility between God's sovereignty and human free will. Throughout the book, Lennox maintains a respectful and ironic tone, engaging with various theological positions and scholars who have grappled with the same questions. He critiques deterministic theologies and emphasizes that God's sovereignty does not necessitate a deterministic view of the world. His engagement with theologians like Augustine, Calvin, and Arminius is particularly insightful, highlighting the historical development of these ideas and their implications. One of the strengths of Lennox's book is its accessibility. He presents complex theological and philosophical concepts in a clear and understandable manner, making the book suitable for a wide range of readers, from theologians to lay people interested in the topic. Lennox's use of real-life examples and practical illustrations further enhances the book's accessibility and relatability. In conclusion, Determined to Believe is a thought-provoking and intellectually rigorous exploration of the compatibility of God's sovereignty in human free will. John C. Lennox's nuanced approach and engaging writing style make this book a valuable contribution to the ongoing theological dialogue on this topic. 
By embracing the mystery of this theological tension, Lennox challenges readers to think deeply about their faith and encourages them to engage in respectful and open conversations about these profound questions. Whether one ultimately agrees with Lennox's position or not, Determined to Believe, is a compelling and illuminating read that invites readers to grapple with essential questions of faith, human responsibility, and the nature of God.